we are into the revision of the last unit of EVS which is human population and environment. Unit 1 we have seen is environment, ecosystem, biodiversity. Unit 2 environmental pollution. Unit 3 natural resources. Unit 4 social issues. And now unit 5 human population. The most important aspects of human population is the demographic part or the study of the human population which is natality and mortality. Natality corresponds to the birth rate and mortality corresponds to the death rate per 100 people. So remember that. Okay. Then you need to remember what is called as the age structure. The easiest way to remember is pre, re and post productive. These are the three age groups. Pre-productive age groups is 0 to 14, this is from 15 to 45 and this is around 46 to 75 post-productive. Based on this age structure, if you define it as a graphical representation, you will end up with what is called as a population pyramid which gives you an instant look into the status of the population and there it is going to go after a period of 10 or 15 years. You have three different population pyramids. Basically, this is the population pyramid. You have the male, you have the female, you have the divisions from 0 to 5 to 10 in 5 year intervals till the average life expectancy. And you have the numbers in millions here. So if we take it into a graph, then there are three possible shapes. One shape is the pyramid shape where the base is strong which means there are a lot of children and after 10 or 15 years this population is going to increase. This is indicative of a rising population and this is what is called as the first kind of population pyramid, the pyramid shaped population pyramid. The second type is the bell shaped pyramid which is an almost a stable kind of population which is because it has a very rich population at the bottom, lot of children and lot of youth which means the population is going to increase but it is quite stable, the amount of youth will be replaced by the large amount of children. So this is the bell shaped population and the last shape of population is the urn shape which is a very very dangerous shape. It has very few children who need to replace a large amount of young people, workforce and that is indicative of a declining population, this is indicative of a rising population and this is indicative of a stable population. Apart from the, um, the demographics, the population pyramid, the age structure, natality, mortality and all those information on population, you will directly go into some of the aspects where population is a major issue. For example, one of the major epidemics to strike the modern 21st century is HIV and AIDS. Human Immunovirus Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome this is the disease, this is the causative agent. So be very clear about that. Be very clear about where it is coming from. Be very clear about the three major modes of transmission. Remember that there are three modes of transmission for HIV virus to infect a person, healthy individual. One is unprotected sex, sexual intercourse with an infected person. Number two is through blood transfusions. And number three, is through the transplacental transmission from an infected mother to the unborn child. Okay, so those are the three major issues. And the there is no available vaccination for this. There is some kind of treatment, but you classify them under anti or you call them as retroviral drugs. Okay, you can also call them as anti-retroviral drugs. So that is a cocktail of medicines which are available to prolong the lifespan of a HIV infected person who has developed AIDS. AIDS is a destruction of the autoimmune system in our body. Another important aspect is the women and child welfare programs that are present in our country and also abroad. So basically if you want to remember them very easily, just remember that there are only two aspects to this. One is education and the other is health. So these are the two major issues which are very very prominent for both women and child welfare. 
And when it comes to welfare, it is also important in the case of family because family, welfare and family planning programs are very very important in deciding the population and the kind of population that a country has. Okay, the socio-economic status of a population, the demographic status of a demographic status of a population, all of those things are very much dependent on the family welfare programs and the family planning programs that a particular government has. The last but the most important, one of the most important aspects of the fifth unit is the role of information technology in managing the population and maintaining a record of the different aspects. So in this you have databases like ENVIS which maintains information about the environment. You have what is called as remote sensing. Okay, where you can sense the status of agriculture, how agriculture is going on from a very remote location such as a satellite and you have GPS, Global Positioning System where you can determine the exact longitude and latitude of different environmental samples or an environmental location or an area of interest where a site of environmental pollution has taken place. So all of these things are very very important in maintaining a healthy population and understanding the impact of that particular population on the environment. So that was the fifth unit. As always you are very much welcome to watch my full video lectures and this was a compendium of all the five units of environmental science and engineering course. It was a very quick revision and you should use it.